Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. I know, guys, it's been a while. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I've been neck deep in work and some other things. I have had opportunities to do videos. Uh, I just I haven't felt like the quality has been there. I'm kind of waiting on a few other things to come into alignment as well, but. I couldn't miss the opportunity to do an IAE video. I'm going to do IAE videos every day of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo for you guys, as I normally would do. So, you guys get ready. Uh, hold on. It's going to be a, a fun ride. This year's IAE promises to have a lot of uh, twists and turns, I think. As you can see, there's a day, 11 hours and 3 minutes from when I started recording this. You guys will probably get this in the morning, so there'll be less or close to about a day before IAE starts. So what is IAE? It's the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. This is one of the biggest sales event in Star Citizen, uh, or I should say it is the biggest sales event in Star Citizen. This is like the Black Friday special that you could get. This is usually when they put most of the ships up for sale. Not all of them. There are some ships that I would imagine probably won't go on sale, including uh, probably the Galaxies since they just came on sale. Maybe even the Fury uh, Racer. That one probably won't go on sale either, but we'll see. I mean, that one's an easy, you know, 50, 55 bucks or whatever. So they could sell it. We'll have to wait and see what they actually have in mind for the ships that they're going to sell. So let's talk a little bit more about IAE. Uh, this is the 2953 edition. They've done this for goodness. How many years? What, since 2046 or 2047? Something along those lines. So we've, we're about eight or nine years into this. Feels like. Okay, six or seven. But you get the idea. So it's going to run from November 17th to the 30th. Uh, this says, join us in New Babbage for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2953. The biggest ship show in the verse. So in honor of the Galaxy's premier aerospace event, Star Citizen will also be doing a free-to-play from November 17th to the 30th. Head to the Expo for all of this and more. You can test fly over 100 spaceships and vehicles for free. And uh, there's going to be a, some new vehicle announcements. We'll talk about those. And some special edition vehicle paints and in-game items. So, if you are new to Star Citizen, you will notice some stuff flashing down at the screen below you uh one would be my referral code please use my referral code as it will get you 5,000 bonus credits uh when you purchase your first package in the game the packages run from 40 dollars and up uh you'll have to have a game package to play star citizen except for during the iae where it's a free to play so you can get in the game, make a character, and you can try out any ship you want to that's flyable uh, for free. Uh, all of them every day, all the ships that are flyable are rentable, and you can rent them for 24 hours uh, to play. Um, but if you make a character, please use my referral code. So just in case that you do buy a game package, that both you and I still get the credit for uh, your referral. And as you can notice, my voice is a little under the weather. So I've been dealing with that lately as well. I apologize. I'll try to get through this without having a coughing fit. Explore the universe of possibilities. So this is not only an external game event where you can buy ships. It's an internal game event. And it's a huge internal game event. Most of the uh, populated systems in the United Earth Empire is going to have an IAE going on locally with all the vendors there that they, people can, you know, buy ships from. Uh, so 
in the future, this game, this will be in game, uh, much more than just the Stanton system, which is what we have right now. Uh, so we can kind of watch this video that does the IAE. Uh, I, I believe, well, okay. It doesn't want to play on this browser. So, uh, you can go to the web page and check that out. Anyways, let's talk about the expo schedule. So November 17th and 18th, we started off with the alien ships. We're talking about Gaytac, Aopa, Banu, and Asperia. What do you expect the first day? I expect a concept cell, not even a concept cell, a straight to flyable ship. We are going to get the, it's the Sulin, Gaytac Sulin, I believe is what it's called, but it's a tiny version of the, the, the Gaytac uh, cargo ship that they already put on sale uh, earlier in the year or last year, whenever it was. Uh, but it's going to be a smaller version. It, it, it is quite small. It's smaller than a Cutlass or about the same size as a Cutlass. It, it's a starter ship, guys. So don't expect miracles from that ship. It's going to look really cool, um, but it, it's a starter ship. So it's going to be like the Drake Cutter, the 100 series, the Reliant series. Um, it, it, it's going to be very much in that vein of ship, only it's going to be alien. So you're going to have to put in another 50 to $75 for an alien tax. So if it would normally go for about $50, I'm going to say it's going to go for about 100 closer to about the Nomad and price tag. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's my guess. What other ships can we possibly get? Uh, you're talking about the Ray Lynn, which is the cargo ver version. That'll be on sale, I would imagine. The Car 2 All from Aopa. The Knox, uh, which is their hover bike. And I would imagine the Santoki I will be on sale as well. Now, if you want to get the Santoki I, this would be the last chance to get it before it's flyable because it's going to be flyable very soon, uh, which means they will jack the price up probably 40 or $50. So make sure you get your Santoki I if you want one of those. Uh, it's gonna be like a medium fighter uh, for the, for the uh, uh, what, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of the names of the aliens. Oh man. Um, so we have the Dvarn, the Banu, the Vandal, and I am drawing a blank. Anyways, you get the idea. <laughs> wow, so silly. Uh, for the Banu, you will get the Banu Defender for sale, and then the Banu Merchantman. The Merchantman is going to probably be $700, I would say. I bet it goes up in price again. It's probably going to be at least $700. Uh, I still have one in buyback for $250. So I'll probably be buying that back before too long and converting it to something like a Polaris or something um, when the time comes. But yeah, those will be the two that you get from the Banu. Asperia, you'll probably get the Glaive. Uh, you'll probably get the Blade. You'll, you'll get the Prowler. Uh, probably also the the Tavarin, um fighters the uh wow i am drawing a blank it's like midnight guys i've had a long day um the talents i'm sorry so you get those as well from asperia those are all asperia ships um yeah so that's something to look forward to on the first two days is the alien ships <coughs> Moving on to November 18th and 19th, you got Aegis Dynamics, and there's a whole swath of ships there. I mean, you're going to get Sabres, the Retaliator, uh, the uh, Terrapin. Oh, that's Anvil. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. I am struggling. There's a ton of Aegis ships. They're mostly fighting ships uh, with the exception of the like the reclaimer um this will also be the day that you can pick up a javelin or an idris in small 
uh, supply. You'll have to be first come, first served. You'll have to win the F5 wars, as they call them. Uh, so you'll have to be very ready. And we'll go over when those are available throughout the day. They'll, you'll have three opportunities to get those. Uh, you'll have Warbond, and uh, they'll also be store credit that you can buy those on as well. Moving on to the 19th and the 20th, you have Crusader Industries and Tumbrel. So we totally expect, uh, of course, all the spirits, the Mercury Star Runners, the Herculeses from Crusader, uh, the Tumbrel Nova, the Cyclones, and I would also expect the Storm available. And not just the regular Storm tank, the AA version as well. So on that fifth and sixth day, you'll get another vehicle or another um, you know new ship vehicle whatever you want to call it that you can buy uh, that's not been in the game yet so be prepared have your wallets ready because it's going to cost you a penny <laughs> then moving on to november 20th and 21st you got origin jump works so origin has the 100 series the 300 series the 400 uh the the 600 and it's got the 890 jump, which I would imagine will be in uh, short supply. You also have the G series of vehicle, ground vehicles, and the X1 hover bikes. Those will all be on sale. I imagine the hover bikes, uh, you guys will want to pick those up because, again, this will be the last time before they become flyable, so they will go up in price. So if you want an X1 at a cheaper price, November 20th and 21st is where it's at. Then you go on to 21st and 22nd. That's not a typo, guys. Uh, so 21st, 21st. They do that for a few of these. So 21st and 22nd, what you're looking for. I'm sorry, it goes like that for all of them. But anyways, Drake Interplanetary, you are going to get a lot of fun ships. I love Drake. Most of you love Drake. You're getting the Dragonfly. You're getting the Cutties. The, the, I'm sorry, the Cutters, the Cutlasses, the Corsair, the Caterpillar. You're going to get, uh, pro you'll get the Kraken, the Kraken Privateer. Uh, everything Drake will be available on that day. Uh, so, again, the Krakens will be limited supply, so you'll have to win the F5 Wars again there. November 22nd and 23rd, you have Argo, Consolidated Outland, Grey Cat, and Kruger. So, Argo, you'll have the SRV. Most likely, this will be the last chance you can get an SRV uh, at a discounted price because that thing is flyable now, I believe, and the test server. So, make sure you take advantage of that. You can also get the mole. You'll get the MPUV uh, and the 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 personnel version of the MPUV or whatever. Uh, so yeah, Argo, uh, good opportunity to pick up some some work ships if you call if you want to call them that. Um, then we go into Consolidated Outland again. You'll be able to get those entry level ships, the Mustangs. We don't talk about the Mustangs too much, but uh, so sometimes it can be a pretty good entry-level ship. The Like the Alpha can be pretty decent. Uh, but anyways, uh, you'll have all the Mustangs available, including the limited Delta. Uh, then you'll be able to bump up to... Uh, what is it? The uh, Consolidated Outland... Uh, well, we know the Pioneer. What am I thinking of? They came out with another ship, too. Uh, again, guys, it's late. I'm My brain's foggy obviously i'm out of practice doing these videos so bear with me uh but yeah the pioneer i expect to be limited quantity and i expect people to be fighting i mean i, I think it's going to be the most sought after ship this iae the pioneer and it's because they showed base building and what the possibilities of that could be at uh the the annual event or at the uh, the two day event back in October, uh, yeah. So I would expect the Pioneer to go fast. You need to be ready, prepared, have the money for it. It usually goes for seven fifty. I would imagine that's still the price. So uh, just be ready to have that money and to win the F five war to get yourself 
a pioneer. Great cat, you'll have the. Uh, I doubt you'll have the buggy for sale. I mean, it's for sale now, but I don't think it's going to be like you know just obvious. Uh, <laughs> what, what else will they sell for great cat? They've got the mining, the rock, and the rock DS. Uh, so you'll get those ships or vehicles as well. Kruger, you've got the Merlin, you've got the Archimedes. Uh, that's probably about it that you'll see from them. Then we move on to the 23rd and 24th. We've got Anvil Aerospace. Uh, again, this is mostly a military-based manufacturer. They do have other ships as well, but you'll be able to get the uh, Anvil Hornets, uh, the maybe the F8 Lightning. I, I don't know. Um, I, somebody said something about golden tickets again during uh, the IAEs, where you can get your hands on an F8 Lightning. Uh, so good luck there. People are talking about the F7A Mark II. I really don't think we're going to get that uh, for sale. I, I just, I mean, we've seen it in the hall before. Uh, I, I just don't think they're going to sell it because it's. That's more of a military version. And what, what are they going to put on the Mark II? I mean, it's more like uh, the wildfire version of a Hornet, maybe. Um, but you'll get the Super Hornet as well, the Terrapin, uh, just a lot of different military-based ships. I keep hoping that we'll get some sort of uh, Anvil Destroyer to kind of go against the Javelin, not go against the Javelin, but at least, you know, uh, have something other than just the Javelin. But I think that's a long time off. Let's move on to November 24th and 25th. You've got Mirai and Misk. So you could, you're probably going to have the Fury. Uh, then all the Misk ships, which, you know, you've got the Racers. Uh, you've got the Hull series. All those will be on sale. Uh, you got the Freelancer series. Uh, you know, Misk has a lot of, I guess, uh, transport type ships. Mirai is going to be more of their military uh, step children, stepchild, really. Um, Misk also has the Starfare, Starfare Gemini. Uh, the Gemini will be available for sale as well. Uh, if you want to get the Limited Hull E, which is the biggest transport ship in the game, that's the day to do it. And again, it'll be an F5 war to get those. Uh, so if you want to be a big mother trucker, that's the day to pick up your big mother truck. So with the whole E. Moving on to the 25th and the 26th, you've got RSI. This is the last manufacturer that they're going to show off, which means we're going to get a concept ship most likely. And they're talking about it being a heavy miner. And we've seen some pictures of it. I mean, you can go check out some different people's videos. I recommend Star Jump's video. Uh, recently that he did um, he showed off to scale what some of these new ships uh, will look like and, and the sizing compared to other ships this we don't know if this is going to be more of a planet miner or a space miner we know it's going to be in front of the uh, Orion so you know if you want the Orion obviously it'll be a limited cell as well That'll be the day to get it. Um, but RSI has a lot of other ships, including the Auroras, the Galaxies, which I don't think the Galaxy will be on sale. I mean, don't you know? quote me on that, but I don't think it'll be on sale. Um, they're, they're really big into RSI right now and, and developing it. You got the Polaris, the Perseus. Uh, those are all RSI ships as well, and those will be available uh, the Polaris will be limited edition or limited probably. <coughs> Although I think they took it off the limited list, so uh, you might be able just to be able to buy a Polaris, and that's usually around seven hundred and fifty dollars as well. Uh, the Perseus is like six seventy five, I believe. Um, little three man uh, Corvette, if you want to call it that, that packs a huge punch. Uh, one of my favorite games that's not or ships that's not in the game yet. Uh, is the Perseus. Then November 26th, we will have Best in Show and then some weapons and armor. The Best in Show paints are purple, kind of like this color here. Uh, they look pretty good to me. They've kind of grown on me. So all those ships that we voted on in the 
uh, Best in Show competition back starting in late August and into September. The top four ships will get the Best in Show paint jobs uh, with the, the winner um, getting, you know, they'll do the, the showcase uh, ship there uh, in the main hall there in the Zenith Hall. Uh, and then the 27th through the 30th, all of the stuff will be back on sale. So you'll be able to pick things up, but the limited stuff will not be on sale unless somebody just did return to hole or something like maybe they bought an address that went in their cart and uh, they decided they couldn't get it after all. Uh, now you can get daily updates by clicking this and having it sent to your inbox. I don't necessarily re recommend you do that, uh, but you could do that. So let me move on to the FAQ here. So as you can see, <coughs> they did a FAQ. This is all going to be taking place at Microtech in New Babbage. You're gonna have to find your way to the convention center. It's real easy. They're going to have signs up everywhere telling you which way to go, what you know, tram to get on, etc. So let's answer some questions. What is IAE? We, we already answered that one. When's it taking place? We answered that one. What time does it start? 8 a.m. Pacific, so that's 10 p.m. Central Time where I'm at. Uh, so for everybody that's local to me, or at least in my time zone, it'll be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock on the East Coast. And then of course you guys overseas will have to figure out what the 1600 UTC is. Google's great friend for that. When's the free fly start? The same time. Uh, I don't have a Star Citizen game package or in-game spacecraft. How do I travel to Microtech for the event? So for the duration of IAE, every account has access to a Drake cutter. And after getting started, head to the nearest ASOP ship retrieval terminal to access it. If you don't know what that is, you may have to watch a few videos. Um, I will try to get a video up showing that on day one. Uh, I do work, so that may be a little more difficult, but I'll see what I can do in addition to showing all the ships and stuff that are for sale that day. Uh, where does the IAT, T, IAE take place this year? Where do they have to go? The Tobin Expo Center on New Babbage and on Microtech. Uh, how do I get the Tobin Expo Center? You got to get to Microtech in the Stanton system, new, or you could spawn in New Babbage. You could select that as your spawn point, which I recommend doing if you're new to the game, um, or if it's your first time logging in a while and you have to select a, a place to start, start at New Babbage. Uh, obviously, if you're already a citizen, you'll have to travel there, which that's me, I gotta raise my hand. Um, and then you could take the Metro system as well. How do you rent a ship? So the IAE displays ships from different manufacturers throughout the event. You'll be able to hold down the F key and left click on that ship. And it'll give you the option to rent it through your Moby glass. Um, pretty easy. How long can ships be rentable? It looks like it's going to be for 48 hours. So I was wrong on the 24. Um, how many vehicles can be rented? You can rent every single one of them. Uh, which ships will be free to rent during different manufacturer days. Uh, you'll just have to see which ones are flyable on which days. Uh, again, the, the IAE schedule, they showed us that. We'll take a look again here in a minute. Uh, do I need to have a copy of Star Citizen to visit IAE? No, for the duration of it, anybody playing Star Citizen for free, you can visit uh, the play now page and follow those instructions. Can I invite a friend? Of course, all they need to do is visit the play now page, create an account and jump into the game. But don't forget that using referral codes during the account creation grants them additional 5,000 a or UEC. And if they decide to stay after the free fly, you'll earn a referral point. So please use my referral code. It's been flashing below this whole time, which ships get the best in show paints. All four ships that made it in the semifinals of the recent uh, ship showdown, which would be the Corsair, the Vulture, 
the Redeemer and the 600i Explorer. They will all get the limited edition best in show liveries as their in-game manufacturer uh, poster. Uh, there will be available all players with those ships in their web hangar. Uh, if you already have one of these ships, you'll receive the IA exclusive paint on the last day of the event at no cost. To be eligible to receive the paints, the ship needs to be in your hangar. Having them in the buyback won't work. You have to actually have it in the hangar to get the paint. So everybody pledging for best in show ships during IAE will receive the paint and the items as well. If you don't already own the ship, the vehicle will be bundled with the prize during the best in show days following the 26th of November. Please note that the best in show editions would only contain the goodies within that ship's package. It would not grant additional copy of the rewards. Uh, best in show ships will also be available to fly for free between the 26th and the 30th. Will there be Warbond CCUs available? Yes. Check back each day throughout the expo. Uh, first of all, a CCU is a cross chassis upgrade. Uh, so you'll be able to upgrade ships with real world money um, from, you know, one ship to another, depending on what the difference in the price is. Uh, maybe we'll walk through how to do that a little bit. There are some videos on that out there already, so you can definitely YouTube that or Google it. Uh, will there be quantity stock limited ships? We talked about this. Yes, there will. So wave one will be 10 o'clock central time. Wave two will be 6 p.m. Central Time, and Wave 3 will be 2 p.m., I mean, sorry, 2 a.m. Central Time. So, again, convert UTC to your time zone, but that's what it is for uh, Central Time Zone, 10, 6, and 2. Uh, so be prepared if you want those ships, which are listed down here, that's the day to do it. So day two, you have the Idris P and the Javelin. Day four, the 890 Jump. Day five, the Kraken and Kraken Privateer. Day six, the Pioneer. Day eight, the whole E. And day nine, the Constellation Phoenix. So if you have additional questions, you can ask it in the, and also check out the new player guide. Uh, but that's what i have for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below what are you looking forward to most at iae what ships are you going to buy which ones have you been holding on you're just waiting for the iae to get or if you're new to the game you know please ask questions or whatever in the comments down below we'll see if we can't answer them somebody will uh and you know maybe we can get you guys involved with the game now if you want to join the texas space navy that information is down below and has been flashing down below as well for a while uh you could do that through the robert space industries website you'll have to have an account first uh then you can join or uh, send in an application and you'll need to apply on the gilded as well and we'll be glad to take anybody that's uh, a pretty cool person i mean when you know we don't want jerks in the org so don't be a jerk and you're good with that said i'm bud dog with the texas space navy and i'll see you out in the verse